Hi everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson and so today I have something really really cool for you guys that the Lord has given me several tips uh, for certain attacks. If you are dealing with these attacks, uh, these are some tips that the Lord actually gave me how you can overcome these things, how we can overcome these things, okay? So the first one on the list is procrastination. If you are struggling and being attacked in that area, uh, procrastinating, not being able to get things done. This is what the Lord said you can do to overcome it. Okay, he says, so focus on getting things done then and making it a habit. Okay, so this is what the Lord said. When you have something to do, instead of putting it off for a later time, focus on, I'm going to start getting things done. If you have to set a time period, like uh, 2018, this will be a great time to start putting things on your list uh, to change. Like you can say for 30 days. For 30 days, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I get things done right then and there. When something comes up, I'm going to do it then. You know, um, if I have something to do, I'm just going to do it then. So if you start focusing on getting things done right then and there, you know, you won't have to put things off for a later time. You can get it done. You know, because if you procrastinate, you know that we put things off, we put things off to a later date, and they never get done. So if you focus on, I'm going to do it now, I'm going to do it right now, you can get things done and make it a habit. Okay, so the next thing uh, that the Lord talks about here, how to overcome uh, if you are a person that's not organized. You know, if you have a problem with having things organized, um, you know, and your life is just kind of like chaos, um, you don't have any peace because it's just so much just craziness going on in your world. So this is what the Lord said about how to overcome not being organized. This is what he said. He said, make sure you do everything when you plan to do it and make sure you stick with it. That's the tough part. When you plan to do things like, let's say if you have your calendar, if you have your to-do list. I love to-do lists because they keep me organized. Um, the Lord told me that I needed to organize my whole life. That's what he said. He told me I need to order, organize my whole life because things that he had for me to do in the future when it came to ministry is pretty huge. And if I'm not organized now, I won't be able to handle that in the future. So he's told me to start organizing my whole entire life. The thing about organizing your whole life, you know, I had a to-do list. I had a to-do list. I went out and just got a plain notebook. Every day I had my to-do list. I wrote down everything the night before, what I needed to do the next day. So when I woke up, I looked at my to-do list. I knew everything that I had to do that day. And it helped me to stay focused because I didn't wake up that day. Oh, what do I have to do? I know I have to do something. Oh, I can't remember it. You know, you know how we get it. We can't remember something. But if you have your list, you have everything written down and you, you know, stick with it. You stick with it and you check everything off. You know, it, it helps you. And then plus, when you make sure you stick with it, maybe you can have someone to hold you accountable uh, to get things done. Um, and to keep things organized. Um, and one of the things that has helped me with uh, staying organized better is a little saying where people talk about, they say, everything has its place. Everything has its place. Like if you want to organize your house, everything has its place. When you find a place for everything, you find a place for everything. And when you take your time out, go through your whole, oh, whole house and whole office, uh, church wherever you are um, put everything in a certain place and give it that place and then if you have things that don't actually have a place you know instead of try trying to force them to go places and okay I'll put it here but it really doesn't have a place get rid of those things give those things a goodwill or something like that because they're just bringing clutter into your life just everything that you know you put a place for and get rid of everything else that just clutters but i noticed that has helped me with the list the to-do list oh it keeps me so organized and um you know and we just have to make sure we stick with these things to stay organized 
Okay, so the next thing on the list is if you have a problem with being offended, if the enemy is attacking you in that area from people, causing people to offend you, people are attacking you, hurting you, doing things, saying mean things about you. And uh, as being women, we're very sensitive and people can just attack us, and, you know, and, um, you know, it hurts. So this is what the Lord says, how to overcome being offended when the enemy is attacking you through people in that area. He said to overcome offense, you have to try not to focus on it. You have to try not to focus on whatever they're doing, whatever they're saying. Try not to focus on it. If you're like constantly, why are they saying this to me? Why are they being mean to me? Why don't they love me? You're constantly thinking that and playing it over in your head what they did. Offense is going to get in your heart and then it's going to defile your heart and the enemy is going to start attacking really, really bad um, because you have allowed that sin to get in your t to your heart. So try not to focus on it. Uh, try not to let it get that much of your attention. And so the next thing is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. How do we un overcome unforgiveness? So this is what the Lord said for unforgiveness. To overcome unforgiveness, you have to try not to focus on it. The pain, the hurt, all of that stuff. We have to try not to focus on those things. See, focus is very, very important when you see and being offended and having unforgiveness or having things in your heart. That when you focus on things, that's going to cause things to get into your heart. It's going to become one with you because you're focusing on it. We have to remove it. Whatever hurt, whatever pain, whatever they said hurtful words that they said just try not to focus on it and think about something positive okay so the next one on the list is insecurity the lord said how we overcome insecurity he said to overcome insecurity fear has to be removed from your minds fear has to be removed from our minds so insecurity is just fear it's causing us to be afraid of if we don't look a certain way or if we uh, we don't do things a certain way people may not accept us you know um, our body may not look a certain way we may not fit in it's, it's being afraid of how someone else is going to see you how you see yourself it's just fear so fear has to be removed from your minds to overcome insecurity and so what I'm going to do I'm going to pray for you that the fear on your minds will be removed in Jesus name Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask that you remove the curse of fear from your people's minds in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you remove all the layers of fear that is buried in their mind, the part of their mind that controls their whole atmosphere, everything around them. Father, I ask that you remove all the fear. Father, I ask that you remove all traces, all evidence of fear in that part of their minds. Father, I ask that it be completely removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you remove all the demonic spirits that are attacking your mind with fear. Father, I ask that those demonic spirits, every single one, be gathered and removed from their mind and cast into the fire heavenly father all strongholds demonic strongholds of fear heavenly father I ask that you remove those strongholds from their minds in the name of Jesus Christ father all roots and seeds and uh, trees of fear that's been planted deeply planted in their mind father I ask that you go all the way back to when they were a child and they uh, were afraid father I ask that the the seeds and the roots and the trees, everything that was planted back then, Father, I ask that you go all the way back then and uproot all of those roots, Father, all those seeds, everything, all the words, Father, I ask that everything be uprooted from their mind, the memory of fear, I ask that their memory of fear be removed from their minds, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you, Lord, thank you, Father, thank you, Lord, amen. Okay, so the next thing on the list of overcoming is control. If you have issues with wanting everything to be in control your kids like if your kids is of a certain age and you're still trying to be a part of their life and control their life or if you're trying to control people or if you're trying to control every situation you will know that it's frustrating because you cannot control everything the thing about it is that god didn't mean for us to control people and control everything you know because people have free wills it's not right for us to force our will and try to control them and override their own will so it's not um it's not godly to try to control things okay we have to just uh walk in faith this whole life that we walk in is in faith and so it could get overwhelming if you are trying to control everything and i'll tell you what the lord said how do we overcome that if we want to control everything this is what the lord said to overcome control fear has to be removed from your mind 
and your heart. So being in control is like a fear. You know, of course, if you think about it, if you lose control, what's going to happen? Something bad is going to happen if I don't control the situation. Something's bad going to happen if I don't, you know, control my kids. Something's bad is going to happen if I don't control the situation. So it's a fear of losing control. Something bad happened if I don't control it. So I'll pray with you right now that that fear is removed from your minds and your hearts. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you remove the curse of fear from your people's minds that's causing them to want to control things, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask that all layers of fear be removed from their mind, Father. I ask that the, the time when they lost control as a child, Father, I ask that all the fear that came upon them then for not being in control, Father, I ask that you go all the way back, back then, and remove all the layers of fears, all the se seeds of fears, the roots, the trees of fears that was planted into their minds, Father. I ask that you remove it all, Father. I ask that the curse of fear be removed from their minds in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Father, I ask that all the fear uh, in the parts of their minds that controls everything, Father. Father, I ask that all the residue of fear, all the traces, evidence of fear be removed from their minds in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I ask that you remove the curse of fear from their hearts also in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. All the demonic spirits of fear that's attacking their hearts, Father, I ask that they be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. All traces, all evidence, all um, layers of fear, I ask that it be removed from their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Thank you. Okay, so the next one on this list that the Lord talks about, if you're struggling with this, if the enemy is attacking you in this area, um, this is how the Lord says to overcome it. Laziness. So to overcome laziness is this is what the Lord said. You have to do things until you get used to doing them all the time. You have to start doing things. If you're not used to doing things and you're kind of just lounging around all the time and not really doing much, you have to start getting active, doing things, you know, getting out there, working, cleaning, cooking, doing whatever, you know, clean, you know, whatever it is. Get up and start doing those things, doing them all the time. Get used to doing them so that it will become a habit. And that you'll stop being lazy. I know a lot of people like if they're used to working a job, they're used to going to work every day and something happens and they lose that job and they have to stay home and they're like, man, they don't want to get comfortable with not working. And like I said, it's things that could be a habit. If we're not doing these things, we just get used to not doing it. It's not that we are lazy or we're not organized or we're procrastinate, procrastinating, we just get used to not doing certain things and then it becomes a habit. It becomes our lifestyle. But the thing about it is the Lord is saying here to overcome laziness, you just have to start do, doing things until, you know, you get used to doing things all the time. You have to practice, like I said, 2018, start uh, making a commitment. Take 30 days to just do these things, you know, make it a habit for your life. It can be done, okay? And the next one on the list that you can overcome, if you're struggling, we all struggle with emotions, negative emotions, being attacked by the enemy in our emotions, with demonic emotions. Okay, so this is what the Lord said, how to overcome when you're getting attacked in that area in your emotions. Same thing. The Lord says to overcome emotions, you have to try not to think on the things whatever is causing you to be angry, whatever is causing you to have those lustful desires, whatever is causing you to want to steal, to want to take something of someone, whatever is causing you to be worried or stressed out, try not to think on those things, okay? Try not to think of all those things. The enemy will try to make you think on it, you know, he'll make sure you think on it. You'll just be sitting there trying to think of something else. All of a sudden, something comes on TV about cancer or something comes on about how the economy is so bad. Whatever you're trying not to focus on, the enemy will try to put that in your mind so that's all you're thinking on. But make it a habit to try not to think on the things that's going to cause you to have negative emotions. It's going to cause you to have demonic emotions. Try not to focus on those things too long. Yes, we have situations in this world, but we don't have to focus on them that long. We don't have to focus on them. We can say, okay, Lord, this situation, I'm dealing with this situation. I'm not going to focus on it anymore. I'm going to put it here. I know you're going to take care of it, and I forget about it. You have to seriously start thinking about the opposite, something better, something positive. 
okay and so these are tips from the Lord of how to overcome these things procrastination be it not being organized being offended unforgiveness insecurity control laziness and negative emotions so apply these to your life and your life will be great all right so i hope you guys have a great day god bless